Hey folks, welcome to this week's edition of Brush Pile Fishing. It is a cold morning here in Gunnersville, Alabama. We've had a cold front come through. They've also had a lot of rain, but I'll tell you what, we're gonna catch some nice fish today. We've got a great guest, Kevin McCarley. You've seen him before. Uh, he just won a tournament here, as a matter of fact, last week on Gunnersville. We're gonna be fishing something early, early spring. We're in the last week of, of February, and it's a pattern not a lot of people are fishing right now. So you stay tuned, we'll be right back with Brush Pile Fishing. Many people look at a lake and feel a sense of calm serenity. Crappie fishermen feel the heart-pounding anticipation of the thump. That's why host Russ Bailey is addicted to crappie fishing. It's this addiction that takes Russ from the Midwest to the Deep South in search of the best lakes, techniques, and patterns from some of the best crappie anglers in the country. Right here on Brush Bile Fishing. Hey folks, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing here at Lake Gunnersville in Alabama with Kevin McCarley. Hey, Kevin, Russ. how's it going, bud? That's good. It's cold this morning. I'll though. tell you what, Go you chilly. guys have had a lot of rain down here. Yes. Then we had a cold front come in overnight. Yesterday was really cold in yes, this Yes, it was coming through yesterday, but uh, it's been cold pretty much here this whole month, but it has been a lot of flooding, okay. a lot of high water. Last week, this boat ramp was underwater. Wow. Couldn't even, you know, had to have boots on to get out there. So, and there's been a lot of water coming in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on that secondary creek channel. Okay. Coming in off the main river. And what we've got is about a 20, 30 foot channel coming in. And we're going to be spider rigging the flats, okay. the grass flats on the edge of it. And those flats are about eight to 10 foot. We're going to be pushing spider rigging, my favorite way. Okay. We're going to be pushing minnows and jigs. Okay. Uh, just a single setup, single jig, single minnow with a split shot above it. And I know you said they've been tearing them crappie magnets up, so they that's have. what we're going to stick have. with today. I'm looking forward to it, bud. Being in poles, crappie magnets, and so hopefully some big crappie right here on Gunnersville. You ready to get started? I'm ready. Let's All go, right, bud. Let's do it. Whoa, 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 it's fish. Fish, fish. Yeah, that's a fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good one. Good one right here. Oh, yeah. Big old black. Good Big fish. old black. Good fish. Good fish. Hey. Oh, yeah. That is a nice one to get going. Ooh. Sir, what's it on there, The old crappie Russ? magnet. <laughs> that is a big black crappie, folks. Folks, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing. Just getting started this morning. Kevin with the first fish, and that is a dandy. Can you explain to him what we're doing getting started this morning? Yes, sir. Well, what we uh, we got is a secondary creek channel coming in off the main river. Okay. And we're hitting the edges of that creek channel, and uh, it's a, about a 10-foot flat, but it's got about two or three foot of grass. And these fish are down in this grass. Like I say, they're transitioning, getting ready. Oh, getting ready to come up. So they've got deep access they've on that side. They've got deep access right here, that's right. These fish, we've got cold water still. They're just now starting to try to move into the shallows a little bit. That's right. As you can see, our water temperature's 47 this morning. Now, the other day, a couple days ago, it was in the 50s. You know, we had some 50, 60 degree days, but like I said, we had that cold front come in. It's 31 degrees. But it's degrees not gonna slow them down. Once they start coming up, I, I really honestly believe that they're gonna they're gonna go ahead and yeah. do their thing unless you just have a whole week of cold weather might take them back out, but. Well, and that last one you just caught was just on a straight jig. Yes, sir. Straight jig with a small split shot above it. You know, Gunnersville's known for all the grass beds, especially in the summer you can see them, but. That's right. You know, we're in the last week of February and they're underwater, but there's a lot of grass here. There's a lot of grass in this lake and uh, we're con you know we're concentrating today on these black crappie. Um, there are other parts of the lake that have some huge white crappie. Yeah. Your South Salty, your Browns Creek areas, places like that. Jeez. There you. Go. Boy, you what I got? Now. It's gonna be a good fish. Yes, sir. 
Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, Bring it right to you. Oh nice yeah. Fish. Nice. Oh new crappie magnet, baby. <laughs> Look at there, folks. That's two dandies this morning. We've been out about 20 minutes or so. Both big fish on the crappie magnet. Mmm. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Chunky. Gunnersville. Hello, hello. We'll be right back with more brush pile fishing action. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these outstanding sponsors. B&M Poles, the number one crappie pole company in the world. War Eagle, built for hunters who love to fish. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Slime Line, catch the fever. Crappie Magnet, sore lip them all. Mossback Fish Habitat. Cornfield Crappie Gear, quality products built in the USA. Yes, that old, that old, your old mill fold down there is what's underneath. And this is that old float nil grass too. Yeah. It. There'll be beds of it, or big mats of it that'll float. Really? Big, huge mats of it. I want to show you a couple of different types of grasses that we're catching these fish on. This is what's under the water. This is what those fish are down in. We're running those baits just over the top of this, this grass right here. And this is what's floating around on the top that's more of a nuisance. But they both have their place and both help, help us catch these fish. And this is the eel grass. Kind of floats around on the top. You'll find big mats of it floating on top. And that's your difference in your grasses. Kevin, what do you think holds these crappie in these grass beds like this? That's just where they're coming in. They're getting ready to make, these, make their beds. I believe they spawn up all, this, all in this grass is where they're going to spawn as well. So you're, you know, I've talked to Ronnie Cass before, and I think you're under the same impression. Not all fish go up into two foot of water to Absolutely spawn. Absolutely right. You know? Absolutely. I, and I, I think more so the white fish, the big whites, will stay out stay and spawn out. in deeper water a lot of times. Uh, more so than the blacks. I think the blacks will get up shallower. I always tell when the slightest amount of grass on there, that's, that's what I love about these BGJPs. I mean, you, you know, just one blade of grass and that rod is running different, different than yep. any of the rest of them and you can be a lot more effective when you know that. Kind of uncharted area. Fish? Yep. Oh gosh, that's another good one. Yeah. There you go. Man. Another good fish. And you said at the beginning, this end of the lake, we're gonna catch big black crappie. That's, and that's right. what we have got. That's about all. Oh, there's one right there on your pole, your front pole. Oh. Yes, sir, and that's a crappie. Get this out of the way. <laughs> love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, yeah. I gotta get that net for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a bass. Big bass. You wanted that big bass, I didn't did. you? I did. Here you go. <laughs> Come here. Come here, big boy. I wanted to catch a Gunnersville bass. Thank you, sir. Look at there. Ho, oh, ho. Oh. Pretty fish. Big old bucket mouth. And you think they're not feeding well? Look at the belly on that thing. Kevin, another good one. Look at that fish. Gosh. Good little 12-inch fish, good eater right there. You know, he'll probably go a pound. You know, the, the thing that I love, we've got a minnow rod, a jig, a minnow jig. The jigs have caught all the fish Every this morning, fish so and they far, are minnow. hammering these things. That's right. There is no mistaking when they're biting no, it. They are no. taking it and just burying the rod, and uh, that's a lot of fun. Yes, sir. Cold front is not affecting these fish, folks. It's chilly this morning, 31 degrees when we started. Winds are blowing pretty good, as you can probably tell. But when these fish hit this thing, I mean, it's right now. It's no light bite. Miss him? No, sir. They're pulling the poles got, in the water. I ain't even got a minute on that, and I'm on credit again. <laughs> there he is. Kevin. There he is. They like to the fight. These big fish like to fight, boy. Ooh. I was putting fish. the net down, you bring the rod up. <laughs> Gosh, look fish. at these fish. 
Mm. We'll be right back with more Brush Pile Fishing action. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Crappie USA, Gill Fishing, Eye Hole Jigs, Blue Storm Life Jackets, Offshore Tackle, Power Pole, The American Crappie Trail, Driftmaster Rod Holders, Smooth Move Seats, Brush Pile Fishing Online Store, Grand Lake St. Mary's, Kevin, I know you got a uh, few tournaments set up down here at Gunnersville. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, met a fella named Eddie Hill, who had started, um, and actually he just had an article in Alabama Outdoor News this month. But he contacted me. Had started a Gunnersville Lake crappie fishing page okay. on Facebook, and uh, him and his, I think it's his wife there, Valerie. They are interested in putting on tournaments. Wanted to get into it. So they asked if I'd help them, and we've had three so far, and we've you know done pretty good on the turnouts. We've averaged about eight boats. Just getting started. Yes, sir. But it seems like every tournament's different people every time. So if we could ever get All everybody to show up, we could have a 20-boat <laughs> field. But you know, we, we started in December, so it's been a December, January, February so far. So I have a feeling March. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll have quite a few folks come out and want to fish it, but. Um, one request that we always have is, you know, can can you bank fish? And, and as much as you'd like to, it's just hard to do a tournament, you know, with right. bank fishing, you know. So, um, but it's been a good thing. Um, my company's been providing plaques for every tournament. You know, people love to get a plaque. They love sure. something to look back on. Um, and it's 100% payback. You know, we're not making any money. Where it's not a club or anything. It's just you want to fish that weekend, you show up and fish and. It's all about just getting people involved in crappie fishing and, and showing them a little bit about what tournament fishing's about. Right. You know, of course, uh, it's a whole lot different than the national level, but it's still a lot of fun and a little friendly competition, and that's what it's all about, getting out having a good time. Well, when we take off today, we'll get the dates from you, and we'll get them on our podcast. Sounds good, so, but we appreciate it. No problem. You know, the other thing, folks, it's been great down here is uh, yesterday, Joe, who's our, our camera guy, uh, we got some, some video for the tourism and then we, we had a day to, to spend because the weather was nasty and cold. And we, uh, we hit Scottsboro Antiques, we hit a few antique store patches, picked up some baseball items and then uh, we went and seen a few caves. So a uh, lot to do down here. A lot of people don't know how big of a baseball fan you are. I know, I know. <laughs> And then I learned a little bit about your uh, Sasquatch reputations down here. Oh, yeah. Everybody's <laughs> uh, looking for them. They're popular around here, it seems like. Those metal cutouts are, <laughs> are very, very popular nowadays. Well, it's a cool area down here for sure. A lot of things to do and see. Located in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, split by the Tennessee River and Lake Gunnersville, Visitors never run out of jaw-dropping outdoor exploration on the 69,000 acre lake or 80,000 acres of public hunting land. We are home to several nationally known attractions including Unclaimed Baggage Center, Russell Cave National Monument, Cathedral Caverns State Park, Goose Pond Colony Resort, and the nationally known Scottsboro Bait and Tackle Shop. Northeast Jackson County, Alabama is blessed with many unique and astonishing places that have attracted visitors from all over the world. While passing through, travelers continue to marvel at what they encounter when their life's journey brings them to discover the Appalachian Corner of Alabama. Visit mountainlakeschamber.com for more information. Right about where that rock is right there. There, there it was. Oh, I knew it was getting cold. Oh, yeah. that's, oh, a, good, that's, that's a, a big black that too. Big, uh, that's a big old hog. Oh, look that's there. a good look fish. Look at there, look at there. Oh, <laughs> God, this lake is crazy with these big donkeys, ain't it? Unbelievable. <laughs> Gosh. Look at there, folks. Another. These are pound and a half fish easy. Gosh. We'll be right back with more Brush Pile Fishing Action. Now, Kevin, 
on all these fish we've caught this morning, we don't have to measure. Okay? Absolutely. But uh, what are the limits here on, on Gunnersville? Uh, it's nine inch limit um, and 30 per man. Man, that's a lot of fish. Folks, we're using the crappie magnets and, and we're down to one color because they're tearing it up. The dude special. Dude special. Dude special. And now, the brush pile gear check. Hey guys, Kevin McCarley here with the brush pile fish and gear check. What we're using today is the B&M Bucks Graphite Jig Pole. The BGJP is one of the most popular rods they have, 14 foot. We've got it spooled with a slime line, eight pound championship edition super stretch. The Ronnie Caps Whitey Outlaw edition slime line. And we're putting it on a B&M Pro 100 spinning reel. Now the bait of choice today was the crappie magnet and the dude special is the name of it. And we were just putting that on a 132nd jig head and coming up the line a little, putting just a small split shot, about an eighth ounce split shot. Folks, great combination here on Gunnersville, especially pulling these jigs, pushing these jigs over this grass. Now, Kevin, I understand it was a little bit chilly this morning. We got a little wind, but there's not another boat out here. And I'm surprised. This I really crazy. am. Uh, this is a pretty popular area. There he is. Another fish. Oh, another nice another fish. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. Got him. That one came on the minnow, folks. I think that's only two on that today. These are all big, big quality fish. Goodness gracious. One of the reasons these black crappie love these crappie lines is their size. Yeah. You know, these black crappie love a lot smaller profile bait, I've always. Yeah. I've learned. And white crappie love big shiners, you know. Um, we're using small tuppies, so. Golly, there's two of them right there at one time, two for Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Kevin done put the net over his side of the boat. Let this and go back here. Okay, yeah, that's a bigger fish right there. There he is. All right. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh, that's a pretty <laughs> one. On the jig, on the jig, on the jig. On the jig. Oh, that's a male the there. Dude's, oh, yeah, he's dark. Yeah, he's already starting to get dark like we was talking about earlier. You know? The dude special, once again. Gosh. Look at that. I know I keep saying it, folks, but man, this is outstanding. And these things are hitting and they're just fighting like crazy. 31 degrees when we get started, and look at this. He definitely got some color. Pretty, pretty fish. And there is that dude special. And it has been special today. Doggone. This style we're fishing today, we're a, this is how you tournament fish. We've got one rod with live bait, one with jig, live. That's rope. right, I, I alternate them. Okay. I do a minna, jig, minna, jig and we find out what they want. Gotcha. And then we just key in on that one item, whether it be the men or the jig. And, and today we've had the most production out of the crappie magnet. It's been pretty good. Yeah. It's been pretty Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got him right on the troll motor. There, there we go. Yeah. There we go, folks. You get that camera or did I? I don't know, one of us, but that's all right. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Gosh. Well, we've hit the camera, the GoPro camera, folks, about every fish today, but that's all right. Look at there. Look at there, he choked. That crappie magnet. You just saw that one on the screen. Good one. Oh, here's another one right here, Russ. Here, here I'll get you, come over. You got it? Ah, yep. Oh, yes, oh. Oh, shh. I'm laying that one down. All right, lay him down. Oh. Another good fish. <laughs> oh, what's it on? Oh, dude, <laughs> dude special. 
Another dude special. This nice pound, pound and quarter fish right there. Beautiful fish. Baby. Man, it has been good. Oh, that's on the magnet too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish. Bring him to me, baby. There we go. Caught a mess of nice I'm crappie you today. What, and that's, that's been the average size. That's right. They've all been about the same average. Just pound, pound a quarter pound and a half fish, every one of them. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Kevin, I hate to say this, we got to head back to Ohio. I would love to stay here for about three or four days, to be honest Take with you. Take this cold weather back with you, Russ. I'll tell you what, man, <laughs> the cold brought us some luck today, it though, did, didn't man. it? man. I had a pleasure, buddy. Always a good time in the boat. It with is, you, my it friend. is. Yes, sir. Late Gunnersville, folks, last week of February, we had a cold front come in, did not affect the fish at all. Fishing eight to 10 foot of water, get down here, give this a try. Big black crappie, I've had a blast, and I hope you enjoyed it. You stay tuned next week. We'll be right back with Brush Pile Fishing. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Russ. I'm glad it ain't summer. You don't have to look at your white legs like Whitey said. <laughs> <laughs>